My name is Tom Haas. I'm one of the developers for Turn.List. I'm going to um, run through the steps uh, necessary to try out Turn.List version 1.1.13. I'm going to go to the AutoCAD wiki at Wikia, the Turning Path Tracker page. And I'm going to highlight the source code starting outside the source code window and then dragging down, down, down until I'm below the source code window. Then I'm going to copy that to my clipboard and go to AutoCAD and paste it into the visual list source code window. So, so we're Still highlighting. Then I'll load it from the Visual Lisp source code window and try running it. The latest source code is always at the AutoCAD wiki. Alright, there we are at the bottom of the source code. Go a little bit farther. And I'm hitting Control C to copy. Control C. I guess I could right click and copy. Okay, now I go to AutoCAD and I type VLISP, V L I S P, enter. That brings up the Visual Lisp program and I'll say new file. We have a window here and I will paste. Paste. I have the extra bit of code at the very end that I have uh, copied. So I'll delete it and backspace all the way to the end of this line. Now I'll hit Control Home, which will take me to the top of the file. And there's some extra stuff there. So I'll highlight it and then I'll delete it. So now we start with some comments, and then I'll contr hit Control N to go to the end, and we end with this thing that says "Do not add text below the comment." So that's we've got the source code. Now I could save this, but all I'm going to do is use this button that says "Load Active Edit Window," and I'll click it. Okay, a bunch of stuff happened and it says 30 forms loaded. I'll go back to my AutoCAD window. I'll draw me a polyline. PL, I type, go to P, then I'll turn it to an arc. And um, I'm going to set the layer to zero and change this to zero so I can tell it apart from everything. Now I just type turn. It says tracking method. User block or generated vehicle? I'm going to try generated vehicle. G. Name for new vehicle or select previously. Well I don't have a previously so I'll type a name. I'll just type Tom. Location to build vehicle. I'll just pick a place. It says midpoint of front bumper. I'll just pick a place. Length of vehicle body. I don't know. 26. And width. Half width. 4. Front overhang. Uh, 4. It's starting to draw some. So I'm going to zoom in here. So we can see what it's doing. Enter the vehicle wheelbase. 18. Uh, half of the maximum width to the middle of the wheels. I don't know. I'll type three and a half. Does the unit have a trailer? Well, we may as well test that. Yes. And the distance from the rear axle to the hitch. Forward is negative. So, here's the rear axle. I guess we go back to the hitch or forward to the hitch. I'll just type uh, 2. Okay, it stuck it there. Name for the trailer. Tom Trailer. 
I don't know if it has to be a separate name. I don't even know what these names are for. I'm just one of the developers. Distance from the hitch to the trailer axle. Okay, I'll type 12. Half of the minimum trailer axle width to the middle of the wheels. I'll put three and a half again. Distance from the hitch to the front of the trailer. Forward is negative. So I guess that's from the hitch back to the front of the trailer. I'll type 8. Overall trailer length. Uh, let's type 20. I don't think this is going to work too well. But that's okay. 4. Half of the trailer width. 4. Okay, it says it's complete. Now I need to move the block into the initial position. Okay, it says put the front left tire on the start of the path. Okay, and rotate it to the approximate starting direction. Then enter turn. Okay, I'm going to try this here. So here's my trailer and my vehicle. So I move them. It said the front left tire. So I'll go from the center of this guy to the end of there. There's my vehicle ready to run, so I'm going to rotate it. To some approximate thing. I can do anything I want. I'll just put it like this, just so we can see what it does. And it said type turn again, so G-U-R-N. Generated vehicle, G. Name for new vehicle, or, or select previously general. Okay, so I'm going to hit return to select the previous. Return. Select the vehicle block. Okay. Select the starting end. I'm not going to use those snaps, just pick here. Bing. Calculation step. It says 1.8. Okay, I'll accept that. Number of steps to skip between vehicle plots. 50. Okay, whatever. All right, so it says it did this, and then we can see the vehicle. Okay, now I'll just do one thing before we end the video. I'll hit undo, 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 undo. Okay, let's try typing turn one more time. Generated vehicle. Return to select the previous. Select the vehicle block. Select the starting end. No O snaps. I just pick here. Calculation step 1.8. Okay. Number of calculation steps to skip. Well, let's say I skip only five this time. All right. So now we can see the vehicle uh, plotted. See, I made that trailer kind of long, so it hangs out way far in back, so you can see it swinging out and. Uh, I didn't make very sharp turns, it looks like. Anyway, and uh, we have different, I click on this one, it says it's a trailer, RRTR, it must be right rear trailer path. Click on that, trailer body. So the different paths are on different layers. This is RRTR path, truck, right rear tire path. Okay. Anyway, so that's uh, how version 1.1.13 works. Thank you.